might have seen horizontal menus or vertical menus, but now there is a new menu style in the town. It's a circular menu where options are arranged in sectors. So just sit back and chill while we go through the process of creating this circular menu. We will start by creating the menu element and add a few anchor tags. Now if you observe the menu, all the options are joined at the center. So let's set the menu position to relative and place the anchor tags at the center of the menu by setting their position to absolute. Currently all these anchor tags are positioned at the center below one another with zero width and zero height. And let's try to build the menu from the center. For building the menu, one main task is to create these sectors. For that create the sector elements inside all the anchor tags as shown. Next set a width and height for the sectors and also apply a border for viewing. All the sector elements are aligned behind one another as we have positioned all the anchor elements to the center. One way to create the sector shapes is we can try considering a corner and rotate the elements across that corner in specific angles to arrange the elements side by side and then set a circular border for the menu and exclude the overflown parts, we can see the sectors. If we get back to the sector elements, these rotation angles only work for four anchor tags. If we add more anchor tags there won't be any effect, as the fifth and sixth sectors are placed at default position. So when there are six sectors we need to change the rotation angles as shown. Now we have another problem, these sectors are overlapping with each other. So, we not only need to adjust the angle but also the shape of these sector elements. Skew property can be used to change the shape. The sectors will turn from this to this when we apply the skew property. Now adding the border will create the sectors. Yet, these rotation angles and skew value works only for 6 sectors and this one for 4 sectors. But we can observe a simple pattern for the rotation angle, that is 360 divided by total sectors into sector number. Here for the first sector it is 360 divided by 6, into 1 equals to 60, for the second sector it's 360 divided by 6 into 2, equals to 120, and similarly for the other sectors also. After a little more brainstorming, I found out the skew value is 360 divided by total sectors, minus 90. For 4 it's 0, for 5 it's minus 18, for 6 it minus 30 and so on. Now we will use this logic to make our menu dynamic. We will write a small script for that, start by declaring a variable, targeting all the sector elements. Next store the total sectors count and the skew value as shown. Then iterate over all the sectors and calculate the rotation angle for each sector and finally set the rotation angle and skew value to the sectors. We can now see the dynamic menu based on the total sectors or menu options. Now if you observe the 6 sectors and 10 sectors menu, on setting a border they look like this. We can observe that the vertical axis is intersecting the sectors, due to which the final menu doesn't look this way, and this happens only when total sectors divided by 2 is an odd number, such as 6 divided by 2, 3 is odd, and 10 divided by 2, 5 is odd. In such cases, we need to rotate the menu by exactly half the value of 360 divided by total sectors, which is in this case 60 divided by 2 is 30. So initialize a variable called deviation, and if total sectors divided by 2 is odd, then set deviation equals to, half of the value of 360 divided by total sectors, and finally subtract the deviation value from the angle. Now we have the sectors ready, next we need to style it. As the sectors are rotated across a corner, the menu is shifted slightly towards the bottom left corner, Move it to the center by setting the margin top and margin right values as shown. Now we need to remove these extra parts of the sector elements, as discussed earlier, just set the border radius of the menu, and set overflow to hidden, but the main question is, how much is the height and width of the menu? For that, consider a 4 sector menu, 
Here we can see that height and width of the menu element should be twice of the sector elements, and the same logic works for all the others. For the background color we will simply use a radial gradient, with a circle of radius 55% of the size of the menu, at some random point, starting with some shade of white, and ending transparently, and also set a default background color. Next add a simple border as shown. For creating this glass effect we will use two simple box shadows, one at the top left corner, with inset mode, to make it an inner shadow, and another inset shadow at bottom right corner. Next adjust the border of the sector elements as shown. Now we will add the menu options, for that, add an option element inside each anchor tag, and mention the icon and name as you need. We can see that the option elements are changing the position of the sectors, so fix it by setting their position to absolute. Next style the icon and name as needed. Now these options have to be arranged at their positions, to do that we will first consider only one sector. We can observe that the option is not at the center of the menu, so set a width and height to the option, and position it at the center, by setting its top and left values. Now the option has to be placed here, but currently the option is pointing upwards, so we need to find out this angle. For that we will consider the initial position of the sector. First the sector was rotated, so consider that rotation angle. Then the sector is skewed, so consider the skew angle also. Now we need to find out this angle. If you consider the unskewed sector, the angle is 90 degrees, as the shape of the sector was a square before skewing. So the angle inside the sector is, 90 minus, skew angle. The angle which we need is exactly half of it. So this is how the options angle is calculated. Now we will rotate using this angle, along the z-axis, and then translate it along the y-axis, to the position, and finally rotate it back, in reverse direction. We can see that the option got adjusted at the proper position. Now, this needs to be done for all the options. To achieve that, inside the sectors loop, initialize an options angle variable, and calculate the angle. Then apply the transformations as shown. Make sure to maintain the order of transformations. We have the options ready. We can add simple hover effects as shown. You can also try adding a simple menu icon at the center, and you have your menu ready. Maybe now you can try something cinematic, like a movie title card. Check out this video for that.